Namaste, Sacred Masters, and welcome to this pick a card session for your shadow work. We have the deck shuffle and three random cards from the Dark Mirror Oracle deck placed before you. If you want to purchase this deck, look for the link in the description box below. You can pause the video and take your time to see if any of these cards resonate with you, and then use the time code in order to jump to the card you choose. This is card 1, 2, and 3. Don't forget there are many more pick a card videos to choose from. You can find them in my playlist, Shadow Work Pick a Shadow Card, on my channel's main page. So don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell for more pick a card sessions. After you pick your card, I will explain what each card means in the book. Now, the book's description is poetic and can be confusing sometimes. But for the sake of sharing, I will read it out, then give you my interpretation of it. You will hear my interpretation when I remove my mask and speak with my normal voice. I will also give you a shadow prompt in order to get started on some shadow work based on the card you pick, together with Grabovia codes to help with your shadow work sessions, or sometimes a link to another video relating to the matter. Alright, let's get started. Pick a card and jump to the timestamp. The card you pick is Hiding Your True Self, and is represented by the third quarter moon. It is illustrated in a dazzling light where there is a hint of a door, like the door to a haman. Outside, draped in scarlet tunics, stand two women, one under the sign of the sun and the other beneath the sign of the moon. The sentence that resonates with this card is, you could be in front of a mirror, or you could hide behind a mirror yet you chose to be the mirror. What this card means is we all hide. Hiding is a survival instinct. Do you want to be truly honest with yourself? Very few people will accept you then. You are too complicated to be comfortable, too plain to be considered, too contradictory to be easy, too exceptional to be believed, too plain to be considered. You can be the sun, you can be the moon, you can be the door, you can be the road, you can be the butterfly and the brick. Maybe the question is not if, but when. Sometimes real solitude is when there is not a right moment to be yourself, and not the right person, and neither the right way. Being yourself like a moment in a spa. It is a massage for the soul. A purification process that brings in oxygen and turns away age and wear. It is bliss and pleasure. Oftentimes we hide behind a mask or a mirror so that we can blend in better with our surroundings, society, culture. We have a need to feel like we belong and that's when we repress our true selves. Has there been something that you are embarrassed to do, like you are self-conscious about it? like singing or dancing. Ask yourself in a shadow prompt today, what is something I used to enjoy doing that I don't do anymore? This is not about doing something you don't like, it's about rekindling that spirit again. Even if you want to do it alone, like sing in the shower again, start to do it. You're also rejuvenating the shadow child in you. Use the Grobovia code 48189517498814 to encourage your self-esteem to grow while you're doing the shadow work. If you want to know how to use Grabovio codes in your sessions for meditating or journaling, check out the link above or in the description box below. I hope this session gives you something to work on, pick up your shadow journals, and let's start finding our inner and true authentic self. I'll try to post more pick a card every week depending on my schedule so that gives you some time to sit with your shadow prom and begin working on positive changes to a new life. If you found something new about yourself, don't forget to comment and share with others as well. This not only helps build courage and self-esteem, but it also encourages others that they are not alone. I'll see you in the next session. Namaste. You pick the card, 
Forgetting Oneself, represented by the waxing gibbous moon. It is illustrated with a naked young man whose curly brown hair are intertwined by a golden laurel crown. Half of a golden mask protects his eyes while the sky around him breaks, ripped to take the shape of mistletoe branch. The sentence that resonates with the card is eating the lotus flower, numbing our identity to go by the sound of music that was never ours. What this represents is the modern Adonis, an ancient Hermes, a grown-up cupid shrined by Laura, Mirth, and Lotus. He is the welcoming allure of the present moment, the warm embrace which numbs everything else, like Baku's wet kid. If you let go of pressure and of pain, if you let go enough of your identity and the context you live in, then you will just feel better. It is what happens when you fall asleep, when you take refuge in the arms of a loved one, or when you watch a movie slumped ungraciously on a comfy couch. Sometimes, however, it asks more. It takes more out of you, more of yourself to be forgotten, to feel just a little better, forgetting everything, letting everything go. Not just as a moment of rest, but as a jump in the dark. It is like vertigo, but it is just a moment of rest, a moment of pause, a moment of uncreative unselfishness. So what? Let it be and sleep soundly. To interpret this card properly, we need to understand our purpose that the universe gave us. Look around you. We all came here to be creators, but too often than not, we become consumers more than we are creators. We spend our time consuming things, whether it is junk food or binge TV watching, that we forget we are creative. The word creative comes from the word to create. Instead of eating junk food, can we learn to cook instead? Instead of binge watching TV, can we write a story or journal instead? The universe doesn't judge what is a big or a small creation just that we create. Your shadow prompt for today would be, what am I consuming that I can cut back on? Think about something that you may do too much or too regularly and ask yourself, how can you use that time to create something instead? You don't have to forego your favorite TV show, but how about cutting that time in half and focused on a hobby instead? Learn a new skill, take up a new class, something. Use the Grobovio code 498-518-498 to increase determination and give you energy to go out and fulfill your purpose as a creator. If you want to know how to use Grobovio codes in your sessions for meditating or journaling, check out the link above or in the description box below. I hope this session gives you something to work on Pick up your shadow journals and let's start finding our inner and true authentic self. I'll try to post more pick a card every week depending on my schedule so that gives you some time to sit with your shadow prom and begin working on positive changes to a new life. If you found something new about yourself, don't forget to comment and share with others as well. This not only helps build courage and self-esteem, but it also encourages others that they are not alone. I'll see you in the next session. Namaste. The card you picked is Alone in the World. Represented by the third quarter moon, it is illustrated with a beautiful woman sitting naked on a precious bench under the morning light in a closed and silent court paved with stone laced by trees. Many blankets and drapes are around her in color red and white like discarded wings. The sentence relating to the card, I made my home a cloister my heart a chalice for the faintest breeze, and yet I stand alone. This card is about waiting for something to come back. When we parted ways, we promised each other, I will wait for you, and I will come back. We have used different words like, it's just for a few months, or a sharper pen like, I don't need you. Still, we are waiting. Mind has lost hope, body has lost memory but our heart is still incomplete. It is shrined into a blessed feeling of longing and desire, innocence and hope. 
but it is also entombed into a well of solitude and distance. It builds walls to stall the passage of time, and the walls kept out everything. Will the prince come, or has the world gone silent while we waited? Waiting is a transition. It has a beginning and it has an end. Waiting is the night. Morning brings the sun to a new day. Is there someone in your life that the absence of them makes you feel lonely? Whether it's an ex or a person that you wish to be with, oftentimes by placing them on a pedestal, it makes us feel more alone in our yearning for their company. Your shadow prom should ask, what coping mechanisms have you been using to deal with being apart? You have to ask yourself whether you are feeling as though you are distracting yourself with outside stimulus or are you doing something to actually better yourself rather than wallow in this negative state. Realize that the story of you and that personal person is probably a personalized one and that it may be different for the other person. Find ways to heal and move on. If the person comes back, it is only to a new and improved version of you. Something that nobody can resist. If you truly desire your ex or someone back, you can use this group of your number 18080818 or the video posted above and description box below. If you want to know how to use Grabovio codes in your sessions for meditating or journaling, check out the link above or in the description box below. I hope this session gives you something to work on, pick up your shadow journals, and let's start finding our inner and true authentic self. I'll try to post more pick a card every week depending on my schedule, so that gives you some time to sit with your shadow prom and begin working on positive changes to a new life. If you found something new about yourself, don't forget to comment and share with others as well. This not only helps build courage and self-esteem, but it also encourages others that they are not alone. I'll see you in the next session. Namaste.